Now comes this one again, an important one how to solve the questions related to the astigmatism. Now, before we actually go to the astigmatism question, I would uh, like to give you a brief out about astigmatism. What is astigmatism? So, whenever my patient is having the uneven refractive surface, refractive surface are two one is the cornea and one is the lens. So, any of the surfaces uneven, then the refractive power in the two meridians one is horizontal and one is vertical. The refractive power in the two meridians will always be different. So, when we have different powers in the different meridians, that is called as astigmatism okay it can be uh, the regular astigmatism or it can be irregular astigmatism in our scope it is mainly the regular astigmatism where the two meridians vertical and uh, horizontal are perpendicular to each other if, if both the meridians are perpendicular to each other they have an angle of 90 degree then i would call it as a regular astigmatism while if they are not perpendicular then i would say it is a irregular astigmatism now once you uh, know that it is a case of regular astigmatism we can further divide this into with the rule astigmatism and the against the rule astigmatism with the rule that means when the vertical power is more than the horizontal power then it is called as with the rule while horizontal power more than the vertical power then it is called as against the rule now how to find out that which power is more is we have simple thing that minus power is more than zero and zero power is more than plus so this is the order here minus power is more than zero power and zero power is more than the plus power so if you are have to compare between minus and zero it will be minus which is more if you have to compare between zero and plus then it is zero which is more and plus and minus then it is the minus which is more now suppose we have the same signs on both the sides then you have to remember that Thank you. Thank you, Saurabh. I am happy that you are able to do the questions of astigmatism from my videos. I am really very happy for you. So, uh, more the minus sign. You have to see more the minus sign. More is the power. So, whenever you have to compare in the minus signs, we will see that more is the minus sign more power so if i have to see between minus 3 and minus 5 one having more minus sign will have more power while we will have opposite for the uh, plus sign lesser the plus sign then more is the power okay so if you have to compare between plus 3 and plus 5 so one having plus 3 which one is having the lesser plus will have the more power so once you know this basic thing only then it will be possible to solve the questions then uh, also you should know that uh, this regular astigmatism can be differentiated into the simple astigmatism then we have uh, compound astigmatism and then third will be the mixed astigmatism okay simple astigmatism is simple as the name suggests on one side we have zero power other side pe either minus power or plus power okay so one side zero power hai, then it is simple astigmatism other side minus zero ke saath minus simple myopic one side zero hai, one side plus so it will be simple hypermetropic astigmatism while if we are having both minus or both plus different of the power but signs are same then it is compound myopic or compound hypermetropic finally mixed astigmatism hai, just may one will be minus and one will be plus so if we have minus sign on one side and plus sign on the other side if the patient is myopic in one meridian and hypermetropic in the another meridian then it is a mixed astigmatism so this is how we can divide the different kinds of astigmatism. Now we will be talking about how to solve the questions related to astigmatism. Uh, eight year old boy here, he was not able to see the blackboard. So he is not able to see the blackboard. That means talking about the distant vision. He is not able to see the distant object. So we are thinking about the myopia. And if you look at the retinoscopy, 
the retinoscopy is minus 1 diopter spherical minus 2 diopter cylinder at 180 degree. So, how to solve this question guys? If I talk about the two uh, meridians, we are having the two meridians here. One uh, is this uh, vertical meridian and one is the horizontal meridian. Now, please see very carefully how to solve this question. One having the diopter spherical. Spherical component means equal in all the meridians. So, we have minus 1 here also and we have minus 1 here also. Okay. Now, we have minus 2. Minus 2 you are giving at 180. When you are giving at 180, it will act at 90. As I Q, because the power of the cylinders will always act at a perpendicular axis. So, if I am giving at 180, then it will act at 90. So, minus 2 here. Because it is given at 180, so it will act at 90. So, now it will become minus 3 and minus 1. Okay. Now, we are having both minus. So, this will become compound myopic astigmatism and minus 3 will be more than the minus 1. So, vertical more than horizontal here. Therefore, it is with the rule. Please see everyone, have you understood how to do this question? Because again, we are expecting this type of question. Uh, actually, I was expecting this type of question this year only. But uh, this year, they had a lot of other googlies that they had done. So, they had not done with the astigmatism. Because last year, there was a theoretical question on astigmatism, terms conoid. So, this year has to be a numerical year for the astigmatism. Somehow, it has not come. So, definitely a high predictor questions for the NEET PG 2025 as well as the upcoming inset examination. So, it is with the rule. Compound myopic with the rule. Please see if you have understood and if you have any doubt related to this, please let me know. One more example, all right. So, let's take one more example. Minus 2 diopter spherical and plus 2 diopter cylinder at 90 degree. Those who have understood can solve and those who have not understood, please see here. Here, dekho. We have minus 2 here also and minus 2 here also. Diopter spherical hai. because it is diopter spherical. So, it will act equal in both the meridians. And plus 2 you are giving at 90 degree. Because we are giving plus 2 at 90. So, it will act at 180. So, 180 pe I have added. Okay. So, minus 2 and plus 2 will cancel out. And now this becomes minus 2 and 0. Can you tell me about the astigmatism now? Minus 2 and 0. So, this will become simple myopic astigmatism and minus is more than 0. So, this is also with the rule. So, this is also with the rule astigmatism. Then uh, minus 3 diopter spherical and minus 2 diopter cylinder at 90 degree. Solve this, doctor. Solve this now. Can you see this question? Here we have minus 3 here also and minus 3 here also because 3 is spherical. Then minus 2 cylinder because you are giving at 90. So, it will act at 180. Okay. So, minus 2 is acting at 180. Now, this becomes minus 3 and minus 5. So, Minus minus means compound myopic and minus 5 will be more than minus 3. More the minus sign, more is the myopia, more is the power. So, it is against the rule. You wanted me to give against the rule example. This is there. 